You see me? Totally. You see me? Totally. Are we recording? Yeah. We're yeah, set. We're good, man. Okay. Taco, taco meat is good. Yeah. Just let let it let it flow, huh? Oh, dude, it's got a, it's a half zip. Totally. Okay. <laughs> North Dakota 68 West for 10 miles. Guys, I am lost. Like lost, lost. I'm meeting Mike Anderson out here at the Badlands. We are going to be doing some mule deer hunting. I recommend not showing up into the middle of some nowhere public land at midnight. This is gonna be a fun one. I'm sure like four cars have been down this road in the last, there went my light, 10 years. And two of them is me in the last half hour. It's always an adventure when you hunt somewhere new for the first time. And you add in a partner you've never had before and you've got the makings for a memorable trip. Or one you just can't wait to forget. I guess time will tell. Every hunt seems to start off with that sense of optimism. That what's over the next hill mindset that makes you feel like you can jump over any obstacle. Or, well, crawl under. Hey, it doesn't matter how you get there. All that matters is that you go. That's a good start. And I'll tell you one thing that's for sure, seeing our first year within a quarter mile of the truck really raises our optimism. Things are starting exactly how we'd hoped. That looks like that tall one he was talking about. We got a nice three by three over across the hill. giving up the wind but um, he should be low enough where it's gonna blow over the top of him and he's just not in an area where we can where we can get to him he's gonna see us if we try and go right at him with the wind in our favor so it's a little dicey but we'll see what happens Yeah, just got to get a few stocks in. Just practicing. You got close. Dude, I was cliffed out, and a forky was like, I must have that bush away. And I'm like, I had it ranged at 35, and he just kind of bounced through it. Couldn't see him. That was fun. Could you see him the whole time? I could watch him the whole time. Oh, dude, that's devastating. Yep. Oh, it's okay. He's gonna kill another one. Yeah, that's fun to watch though. 
yeah, I'm excited to watch you do it. But you actually should shoot one. Like, <laughs> <laughs> want a reason to get in shape? Climb up the hills. That's a reason to get in shape. This is fun. As the day moved on, the disappointment of the first blown stock really started to set in. And as the hours passed by, the North Dakota wind made it all but impossible to sit on top of the hills of glass. So, we decided our only other option was to get down in the valley and put some miles on our boots. was a big walk and uh, we didn't see anything worth shooting. He hunted all day yesterday, didn't really see anything worth shooting. So we just went on a Baja and uh, we're gonna go try to find something now. Now that our cars are I'm very happy that things still work. <laughs> yeah, we had ourselves an adventure, that's for sure. Uh, don't tell my wife. As much as I wish I could tell you that afternoon hunt led to stocks and opportunities, it did. One long walk and no deer later, we were calling it quits for the night, and that's the end of day one. Well, guys, that is uh, that's the end of the first day. It's my first day. Mike's been out for two days. Saw a bunch of does. No, no nice bucks. A couple small bucks. I found two sheds, so we're not going home empty-handed. Uh, going back to camp to have some supper hanging out, and then we'll make a game plan for tomorrow. Day two seemed like the perfect combination of optimism and muscle soreness. It was a feeling that said, yeah, sure, you put some work in yesterday, but that doesn't matter today. The deer do this sort of thing every day. So if you want a chance at them, you better lace up those boots and get on the move. <laughs> <laughs> some, that get you. That get some, you good. some awesome B-roll footage I had there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs>way over there, uh, away from anywhere we've been yesterday and trying to put our eyes on some new ground because just didn't see any big bucks yesterday. So today's gonna be the day. The Western North Dakota landscape can get pretty rugged and it gets there in a hurry. Hunting it is pretty simple. You move, you glass. You move, you glass some more. And if that doesn't work, you move and you glass some more. In the words of Teddy Roosevelt, the Badlands do not seem to belong to this earth. But that's no matter. When you don't find a deer in one valley, you move on to the next. miles later and things were starting to feel pretty bleak but like most times right when we least expected it we started to find what we were looking for the mule deer though we didn't see any big bucks we did see a good number of deer so we decided to get a little closer and take a better look but in the end it's nothing that we were looking for
weekend, boys. So that doe is not on my good side right now. She was there this whole time. We were glassing this knob and she was right there. Bummer. Well, we just slowly been going from hillside to hillside and then stopping and glassing for a while. You know, finding spots we think are a good area, stuff that has the wind in our favor, but we can still see deer that would be better in the shade right now because it's getting a little warmer. You know, theory's there. We just need to find a deer to cooperate with us, which hasn't been easy, has it? No, not easy. seeing any deer at the moment though we gotta get ourselves to a spot where we can find them shaded it's getting a little bit later in the day so they're likely gonna be going back to bed right now beautiful spot but no targets in front of us and just when it was starting to feel like time to go home our luck shifted and mule deer do what mule deer do we just show up out of nowhere lying to you if I said I wasn't hoping for redemption for day one, but the reality is, I wasn't going to get it. We did what we were supposed to. We hustled across the valley, crept up the hill, made our final approach, but when we got there, we were greeted by a dozen antelope and a few cows, and not a single mule deer. Hey, maybe next time. Well, walk back to camp is a bit of a dejected one because those muleys gave us the slip, but you know, hey. It was a lot of fun anyways. What do you think? Yeah, I'll do it again. Definitely do it again. They, uh, they might have the last laugh here, but we'll be back after them again. Hey, if you like what you see here, uh, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we're going to have a podcast, too. Aaron and I are going to be talking about this trip, along with uh, a lot of stuff he does for... What foundation is that? Oh, Prairie Grid Adaptive Sports. Prairie Grit Adaptive Sports. Great cause. Check it out.